Hello YouTube, my name is Rusty from Rusty Does Tech. Here at Rusty Does Tech, we produce technical how-to and educational videos on many different subjects. If you run into any technical problems that you need help with, be sure and leave a comment below and we'll try and help you. We might even make a help video on the subject. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out. In today's video, we'll be showing you a console to PC streaming setup. You can use this for full streaming solutions, or if you just want to pass the sound to your PC to be able to use Discord or other PC apps while playing on console, you can do that as well. Let's get started. Here's a list of equipment that will be needed. You will need an HDMI 2.0 splitter with audio extractor. An HDMI splitter takes a signal from one source, like your gaming console, and sends it to multiple destinations, like your TV or monitors. In addition to splitting the video, it will also extract the audio. I use a 3x2 splitter as I have three consoles attached, but you can use a 1x2 or even a 1x1 pass-through if all you want to extract is the sound to pass to your PC. Not all HDMI splitters and audio extractors are the same. You will need to ensure that they are HDMI 2.0 compliant. This will ensure that they can pass 4K at 60 Hz. Ideally, you'd want an HDMI splitter with audio extractor that is HDMI 2.1 compliant to support the new 4K 120 Hz consoles such as the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But as right now, they are not available. You will need a USB video capture device. I use AverMedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, but there are other options out there as well. This will capture the video from the HDMI splitter for use in recording or streaming. You will also need an HDMI 3.15 millimeter audio cables. And for the love of God, please ensure that you get quality HDMI cables. The most problematic issues I've seen when putting everything together stem from bad quality HDMI cables. Also make sure that the 3.5mm audio cable is high quality and shielded. I'll put links in the description below where you can source these items. These will be the exact items that I use. Okay, let's put it all together. To get started, Connect your console or consoles to the input of the HDMI splitter using an HDMI cable or cables. Connect the HDMI output to your monitor and your capture device for using one. Connect a 3.5mm audio cable from the HDMI audio out jack to the PC input. It's the blue jack on the back of most PCs. Once everything is hooked up and powered on, Test to make sure that your console video is showing up on your monitor. If it isn't, then make sure that the correct input on the splitter is selected. There's a switch that selects between the inputs on the unit itself, along with the remote control if you use the splitter that I used. Once that's tested and everything is working normally, let's get the sound working to the PC so that you can listen on whatever PC device you want to hear it on, headphones, speakers, etc. All right, now that we've got everything hooked up, let's set up the PC side of things so that we can actually hear the audio. What we want to do is we want to go to the right-hand side of the taskbar, um, hover over the speaker icon, right-click, open sound settings. On the right-hand side, open sound control panel. Go to recording tab. And in the recording tab is where we're going to actually select the line or line in or auxiliary line in input, depending, it's going to be named something like that, depending on your setup. For mine, mine's named console in because I renamed mine so that I can uh, keep track of what's what. You're going to highlight that, go to properties, go to listen. You're going to select the checkbox, listen to this device. And here's where you're going to select a device that you want to play the audio back through. 
In my case, I have it selected through a virtual input, which is a discussion for another day. In your case, you're going to want to select the speakers, your headphones. Once you do that, you're going to click apply. OK. OK. Close that. You should be all good to go and you should be hearing the audio through your device that you selected. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Until next time, YouTube, Rusty's out of here.